In verse 9 of chapter 6, he said, They were all trying to frighten us, thinking their hands will get too weak for the work and will not be completed. But I prayed, now strengthen my hands. Now strengthen my hands. When this was made public to the people, some weak ones would doubt Nehemiah and they will be discouraged. But Nehemiah says, Lord, strengthen my hands. It's a very important emphasis of why he prayed, Lord, strengthen my hands instead of Lord, strengthen my heart. Does his heart need strengthening? Yes, it does. Does his mind need strengthening? Yes, it does. But he specifically prayed, Lord, strengthen my hands. And let me tell you why. I think Nehemiah prayed it that way. Because when it says, strengthen my heart, it is what our heart is feeling. It, it may be wounded. It may be, you know, um, it says, hurting the pain that is there, and we may want God to touch and heal us, and that is fine. He may want the healing of our, his mind. His Lord, take away all the negative thoughts, help me to focus on you, and, and that is fine. But when we focus on those mind and heart, nothing happens. What Nehemiah prayed was very strategic. Lord, strengthen my hands. Why? Because the hands are the ones that continue to work. The hands are the one he would pray, God, I will not stop doing what I'm supposed to do. Yes, I may need healing in my heart. Yes, I may need strength in a touch of God in my mind. But my hands are the one that I will not pause. I will keep on serving the Lord. Amen. That's what we need to pray. Even though your heart may be hurting, even though your mind may need to have the peace of God, but it says, Lord, this great work this good work, my hands will continue on. I won't step back and it says that I will pause. No, he didn't say that because he knew that the enemy was trying to slow down the work and cause it to be uncompleted. 